In this presentation, we will take a look at multiple choice questions related to a job cost system. First question, job costing system characteristics include all but A. Product diversity B. High production volume C. Heterogeneity D. Uh, customized inventory and E. Higher cost of inventory. So we'll go through this again, see if we can use the process of elimination. So we have a job costing system characteristics include all but either A, product diversity. So if we think about that product diversity, we might not know exactly what they're trying to get at with product diversity. I'm going to keep that for now. Uh, we're looking for the exception here. B, high production volume. So again, high product, we might say, well, that kind of depends. I mean, maybe some job cost systems have higher production volumes than other. It kind of depends what work. Support accounting instruction by clicking the link below, giving you a free month membership to all of the content on our website, broken out by category, further broken out by course, each course then organized in a logical, reasonable fashion, making it much more easy to find what you need than can be done on a YouTube page. We also include added resources such as Excel practice problems, PDF files, and more like QuickBooks backup files when applicable. So once again, click the link below for a free month membership to our website and all the content on it. Comparing to here, so we'll keep that for now. Well, uh, C says heterogeneity uh, or heterogeneity. So what that means is is difference, meaning they're going to have uh, different types of characteristics within the inventory. And we might see this contrasted to homogeneity, <laughs> which is going to be meaning the same. And the reason I'm going to use those two words is because sometimes textbooks will use those words. It basically just means that there's going to be uh, products that are going to be much the same and products that are going to be much uh, in, in different in nature. So head row is going to be different in nature. And that's typically going to be the case for a job cost system because we're going to have different types of inventory. And when we think about a job cost system, uh, you'll note that this, this problem is kind of uh, contrasting I, or implied contrast against the other system, which is a process cost system. So we kind of have to keep that in mind in order to see this. We can see that there's going to be diversity in a, in a job cost system. Some job cost systems might have more heterogeneity <laughs> than others, but um, and some less. But when compared to other systems, like a process cost system, there's, there's going to be more difference in the types of inventory. So I'm going to say that that's going to be a characteristic D says customized inventory. And again, we might think, well, customized compared to what? We might have a job cost system that's more or less customized. But in comparison to a process cost system, it, it's going to be more customized. And that's really kind of how, how we have to think about these things. And then E says higher cost of inventory. Um, and typically, we, we typically will because these characteristics all follow from the concept that we will have more differentiation in product products. And if they're more customized products, then of course we are going to have higher prices for them, right? That's the point in, in comparison to a, a process cost system where our goal is to lower prices and costs by making everything all the same. So this one is going to typically have higher prices. So we're left with A and B. Let's go through this again. Job costing system characteristics include all but A, product diversity, B, high production volume. So if we go, as, as we go through this again, product diversity is basically the same as heterogeneity, right? They're going to be meaning there's, there's difference in products. So if we take a look at A, C, and D, they all basically mean the same thing, right? A, you know, product diversity means there's going to be different types of products and customization basically means there's going to be different types of products that we're making heterogeneity means there's different types of products and all that differentiation that we're talking about in these three different ways so these these three in other words could cancel each other out if we were to look at this in terms of just test taking skills we can probably say well those pretty much all look the same they can't all be right those must be gone and then the higher cost of inventory follows from the fact that they're all different in nature 
uh, because that'll be different than if they were all same in nature, which would make it easy to produce and therefore cheaper. So we're left with B, high production volume. And that, that makes sense because um, we can't have a high production, we'll probably, and again, we're comparing this to a process cost system. We're gonna have a lower production volume because of all this diversity in production. So all of our products are different in nature. So when compared to a process cost system, then it, we're not gonna be able to make as many of them. We're gonna customize them, make fewer of them, hopefully charge more for them. So final answer, job costing system characteristics include all but B, high production volume. Next question. The production activities for a customized product is A, accounts receivable, B, a job, C, a unit of production, D, finished goods, or E, a process. Let's go through this again. The production activity for a customized product is A, accounts receivable. And now that one just doesn't sound right at all. You know, a production activities doesn't sound like accounts receivable. So I'm going to cross that out. B says a job. And that's plausible because we're talking about a job cost system, the production activities for a customized product. So I'll keep that for now. C says a unit of production. Um, that's, you know, that's possible. A unit of production. I'll keep that for now. D says finished goods. The production activities for a customized product. Uh, it, it, it may not be finished goods because it's, it, it could be either type of inventory, work in process or finished goods as we go. So I'm not going to say it's probably not that. Finished goods is going to be the unit of all the goods finished, but it's not really breaking out which units we're having, which, which units are owed to who. It's just going to be grouped up in finished goods. It's not the supporting documentation. And then E says a process. And again, that you, you could think of that, that it would be part of a process. I'll keep that for now. Let's go through it again. The production activity for a customized product is... Now, when we think of a, a customized product, we're thinking about a job cost system, probably not a process cost system. So I think we can eliminate E here, and then it's between a, a job and a unit of production. Now these two, these two are kind of like the same thing, right? A unit of production is is what we're, one thing we're working on. It sounds like, but it's more specifically termed typically a job. So a job. I think this is most uh, likely the answer here that we're looking for. Uh, uh, the the unit of production being the job. So final answer: the production activities for a customized product is B a job.